been a while that we did a screencast about Plasma Active, so let me try to catch you up with a few of the latest features and developments in Plasma Active. First we unlock the screen. As usual we get presented with our introductor introductory uh, activity where we um, get a bit of information, can read up, and we can watch a quick video which uh, essentially, sh essentially shows um, how the whole thing works. So adding uh, things to your activity is still very easy. Configuring uh, your activity likewise, you can choose the wallpaper and basically um, personalize the whole device to your liking. The activity switcher is still um, on the right, and of course it allows us to uh, switch activities. Um, these activities can of course hold widgets or other elements. As you can see, the um, whole battery of plasma widgets is available, um, and these actually work quite nicely also on touch screens dictionary uh, widget. Okay, let's move on to a few applications. Put these into m in my managing photos activity. Um, first look at the web browser. So we've got um, Linux Weekly News opened uh, here. Linux Weekly News has a feed connected to it. You can see this um, on the RSS icon and clicking on it copies the feed to the clipboard. Now this makes it easy to transport uh, this feed to my newsreader where I want to uh, well basically bookmark it uh, for regular reading. I quite like LWN. So tap and hold um, pops up a small dialog which allows you um, to paste whatever is on your clipboard. I'll add the feed, oh, OK, and there it's already loaded. So we've got all the uh, good news uh, from the free software world. Another new application uh, which I have been uh, working on is the Plasma Microblog application. It is uh, based on the microblogging data engine which has already been Plasma for quite a while but I um, did a few changes to it. For example, um, I made it use JSON instead of XML which leads to a nice um, performance upgrade and it also now uses QO auth uh, so it's a bit more secure and it doesn't uh, need to save your passwords anymore but uh, can still stay uh, logged in. As you can see if we've got the context area on the left <coughs> which allows you to either, either see user info or um, look at uh, certain tweets. Naturally I've got my own tweets and uh, the replies and there's a uh, search um, option on the right. Uh, this microblog application is not 100% not uh, done yet, uh, but when it is done and I expect it uh, to land with KDE 4.9, it will um, come as an application in different forms, uh, which means a microblogging uh, widget for your desktop, an app for your smartphone, and um, the same app which uh, runs on your smartphone or tablet uh, can also be used on the desktop um, and there it will adapt itself um, to use <coughs> uh, widgets that are more suitable uh, for the desktop for example uh, the scroll bars uh, are a bit different the mechanism uh, to copy and paste uh, is different and also the, uh, the theming uh, varies a little bit um, the point really is that we are able to share 90 percent of the code and um, this way uh, create a very flexible application that runs well on multiple devices. Another really cool thing uh, we've added in Plasma Active is a new um, file browser. This file browser is as um, everything um, built on top of uh, Nepomuk so it, it doesn't actually provide you a view on your file system but it gives
is a semantic view on all the uh, documents and resources so you can um, collect rate and uh, choose your files depending on different criteria I especially uh, like the timeline uh, feature which uh, sorts uh, the files depending on uh, when they have been added there's also the uh, possibility to tag files of course and searching. Okay, so this is a quick catch up uh, of Plasma Active and uh, some new features of it. Uh, one of the uh, really noticeable uh, things is that we've uh, done quite a, work, quite a bit of work on uh, performance, and you will find um, a few improvements uh, here and there. Overall, it's uh, shaping up uh, really nicely. But do keep in mind that this is right now only a development snapshot. But it should already be pretty close to uh, what you will eventually see on the Vivaldi uh, device, which uh, will be in stores in about a month for you. So have fun, and see you next time. Bye-bye.